Hey guys, it's the Andy-san here. I've decided to make a three-part mini-series on how I lost over 20 pounds in about two months' time. As you guys know, if you've been uh, following my uh, blogs and vlogs for a while, you know that I had failed my uh, weigh-in when I went to go get weighted at MEPS so I could join the uh, U.S. Navy. At the time, I didn't really take the whole Navy thing too seriously, just because I was a bit unsure about it. Plus, I was kind of afraid of the whole commitment thing. You know, it's different than a job or college or whatever, where if it would get too tough for you, you could just quit or drop out and look for something else. With uh, the military, you actually sign a government contract. So you're basically a contracted employee where if you would quit, there would be some uh, very serious consequences to that. I mean, you can. It is possible. It is highly recommended that you don't quit. And uh, I'm not really going to get into uh, logistics of that in this video. I'm just basically giving you a, an overview of uh, my life at that point as well as uh, an overview for the next two videos. But yeah, uh, when I came back home from MEPS, my stepdad wasn't too pleased that I had failed the way in even though my recruiters told me that I should pass if I watched what I ate because I was right on the borderline they said but when I went into MEPS they measured me at 27 percent body fat which uh, in order to join the Navy you have to be at most 25 percent it is recommended that you're around I believe it's 22 to 23 percent correct me if I'm wrong but I was at 27, so um, after I'd filled out all the paperwork and crap, um, basically just got sent home. I made a deal with my stepdad that uh, if I didn't pass my uh, MEPS and the exam and everything, that uh, I would have to make rent for that month, for the following month, technically. So since I didn't have a job at the time, and I don't now, <laughs> I had to sell a lot of my stuff in order to make the rent, which included uh, all my guitars, my equipment... I was really sad to uh, let all that stuff go because it really meant a lot to me. I worked really, really hard to get the acoustic. I remember working at a, it was an old uh, family restaurant called Andy's Roadhouse. No, I didn't own it. <laughs> I remember working a lot there and putting in little bit after little bit for my paycheck to get the acoustic. And it took me, I think like four or five months maybe even longer, to uh, get it. For my birthday that year, my mom actually uh, paid the remaining balance off, and that's how I got it. Yeah, and the other guitar was uh, given to me by, by my dad many, many years ago. I guess he just bought it at like a music store or something, just in case one day I'd decide to learn how to play. Actually, when I was seven and living in Michigan, I did learn how to play a little bit, you know, just like basic chords and songs and stuff, but you know, when you're seven year, years old, it's really hard to concentrate on something, so I just uh, kind of put the guitar away until many, many years later, when I was 19, I decided to pick it back up again. But that's another video for another time. Getting back to the subject at hand, after I had sold all my guitars and equipment in order to make rent money, I decided to take this a bit more seriously because it was either pass the Navy exam or uh, try to find a job. And in this economy, and where I'm living in the Midwest, <laughs> job opportunities weren't looking so good. And even if there were job opportunities, uh, my resume isn't exactly looking uh, so hot either. Uh, jumping from job to job for maybe just a couple months at a time, I decided to take the Navy thing a bit more seriously. I worked out a lot, and I uh, watched what I ate. The next time I went into MEPS, I uh, passed with a 25% body weight. And I know that's like a just barely passing thing, but, you know, hey, I passed. And uh, I've actually been continuing to lose weight even after I passed it, too. And uh, I've, I'm under 200 pounds, and I've been maintaining that ever since I passed my uh, weigh-in exam. Yeah, like I said earlier, this is basically the introduction video. And in the next two videos, I will go over my exercise routine as well as my diet routine. So, uh, yeah. This is the Andy Son, signing off for now, and I hope you guys tune in to uh, video number two, which is my exercise routine. See you there. Bye.